Hey, you want to go to Oculus Anubis today? Okay, I'm headed to Oculus Anubis right now. <laughs> Dork. Well, thanks for allowing me to join you for a moment. I oh, appreciate it. We took a vote and we said that you could ride with us. Hey you, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara, and in this video today we're talking about Oculus Anubis. This place has a strange background and history. It kind of has this cultish or Illuminati background. It's just weird mystery history. So before I show you the rest of the video, I want to show you what Oculus Anubis is really about. This place is located in Damascus, Oregon. This place is mostly explored by teenagers at night, but it tends to be more eerie and creepy. So deep in the woods of Damascus, Oregon, sits this temple of Oculus Anubis. The population of Damascus is just over 11,000, and this town is the last place that you would expect something eerie to happen. It's located located in a residential neighborhood at the end of a really long cul-de-sac. We actually know a lady named Sharon, she's the owner of the home, and we were able to visit this place, the gates were open for us, and she had hired us to move this brass bronze lion that actually sits out in front of her home. She has two of them that sit out there. So right before you go into the gate, there are only two lions that sit out there, and one of them in the past had actually been toppled over by teenagers that had come out to visit her property, and they destroyed it by jumping over the gates, and that's the one that we were actually hired to help move into her garage. In the past, the other one had been stolen and she ended up filing a police report and getting that one back. So she has two of them but they need to be refurbished so. And as you go down the driveway there's this 40 plus foot tall statue thing that she has. I'll show you right here. So as you can see in the video this place has many side trails and paths that go down. The property is really big and it's pretty eerie. And if you look you can see that the statues that she has on her property are are pretty cultish. I can see the cultish references here with all these statues that they have. I mean, like, look at this one. This one has water filled in down below, and you can almost see the stairs going down under the water. And this is some sort of rock doorway that they have. I wonder why they have this. It's pretty creepy. It's just a rock that looks like it has a doorway on it that you could open. I'm not really sure what's behind there. I wonder why they have it like that. And some of the mysterious things that people have said about this place is that there are tunnels underground, which there seem to be, and there's permits that show it. And for some reason, all of the permits that were taken out on this house are done by Natalia, which is the owner's daughter-in-law. Actually, ex-daughter-in-law. She was married to her son. And there's plenty of evidence that the tunnels are built or being built, which is kind of weird. So it turns out that the owner of this house, not Sharon, but her late husband, used to run an eye care practice in Damascus, Oregon, and he eventually was busted for fraud. He was fraudulently billing out of that practice, and it's said that the money that they had fraudulently received was used for the tunnels at the home. They were building a 35,000 square foot home next to the main home that was on the property, and they were going to have tunnels that run from the original home out to the new home. And you can also see in the documents here where they ended up going into bankruptcy over this. And I'm going to show you what this place is really all about. It's kind of a lot. There are statues and fixtures on this property. I don't know if it's just something that they're into, the Egyptian style, or if this is just kind of the art that they like and they have it out on their property. Anyways, we went down there. We met Sharon. With Sharon's permission, I was able to take some pictures and take some video of what we were doing that day. So we were going to move the line into the garage, but then Natalia and her mother, they both still live on the property out there. They came down the driveway. They were unhappy with what we were doing and they were filming us and they were just pretty much filming everything that we were doing down there. And and I asked Sharon, what is she doing? Why is she filming us? And Sharon had informed me that there's actually cameras out there everywhere. They're on the trees, they're on the house. They film everything that goes on out there. So I ended up turning off my camera so I don't have actual footage of that because they were upset that we were down there. There was some sort of dispute going on between Sharon, the owner, and Natalia, the ex-daughter-in-law. Natalia, who claims that she owns the home and that Sharon is just actually a tenant living there, even though Sharon has owned this home since 1971. So I'm not real sure what was going on with that, but we didn't want to be a part of it, so we ended up leaving. And as we were leaving, they continued to tell us that we were trespassing and that they didn't want us there and that they were going to call the cops. And we ended up leaving before anything had happened. We were leaving and as soon as we left the gates to get out onto the main road, we could actually see all the cop cars that were coming. They were just like boom, 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 one after another. They had called the cops. We did talk to Sharon after we had left and it seems that everything is getting better and that they were working it out. It seemed to be more of a fight of who owns the home at the present time. Sharon claims that she owns the home, which I think she does. And Natalia is also claiming that she owns the home, but I'm not real sure what's going on there. I don't know anything about that. Anyways, we had to leave for the day. Well, we'll be back to help remove her lion. So I'm just going to show you the video. There's 
devils. There's people that push us behind us now. Well, so what there is. Yeah, but don't let them get to you, bro. No, the lion's badass. We're going to throw that motherfucker on a board and we're going to drag it down to the guy garage, kick it in there, shut the door, and call it good. We've got the gate key. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all said your prayers. Welcome to wrong turn five. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to no trespassing. <laughs> A statue. Is this a long driveway? No, it's right around the corner, I think. I don't know, it seemed like it was long when we walked when it. We walked it, yeah. <laughs> If you see little banshees and creatures in the forest, don't worry about it. They raised them from their dead. From the doors that were open. The yeah, the gate, the gates of hell. Little bags, little bags of silver corn too. Did she leave the gate open for you? Yep. Did you have to text her? No, I should just, uh, yeah, I text her and she just, uh, just uh, Is she going to get mad if we're filming? No, I don't know. I'm, that's why I'm not filming anymore. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But, um, I... I, I, I... Hey, hey. Should have brought a lawnmower. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Mow that up real quick. Mow it up, mow it up. Okay. Mow it up. We've arrived. Where's the garage at? Um, over there, I think. Woo, 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 woo! Here we go! Well, it's the same Yeah, It was not going. It not going to roll on No. So. Now, if we had a, a more of these, bronze isn't soft metal, is it? No. It, it you know, it, it endured falling. Oh, oh really? <laughs> it, I mean, they tipped it over. It does weigh 800 pounds? Yeah, uh, about six. Six, okay. Yeah. Gosh, that's the heavy. thing that's the heaviest is the ball. Are you I got, I got, fern? yeah, I got um, no, the straps. No, yeah. really. they, they come back. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, you know. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Very, very, very good with a landscape architect. Oh, that's nice. With an architect and with um, surveyors. And with, in, in actually the lady that sold it. Just so pretty. Yeah, so. Yeah. Where's that, um, where's that little piece of board? Let me see. Oh, there's the garage, okay. Huh, weird. See, there's something, some big, some big thing down there. Oh, hey, 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 Steve, right now. That's the code on that lock. That's the, um, that's the, um, oh, okay. combination on that lock. Did you lock it this time? Yeah, I locked it. Okay. On what lock? It's locked on the, the, on the line to the tree. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it recorded. Okay. Okay. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so now she's acting like she's saying that Sharon's just a tenant. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know who to believe or what to yeah. think. But is she saying like how did, how does this girl think it's her property? Because she was married to the son. But he doesn't own it. It's his mom. No, he but the, but it. she's on the trust. Yeah, no idea. I know, but. Oh. She said the cops won't even come out here anymore. <laughs> really? From the story she told me, that she said the cops have been out here so many times for all the kids and all the fence jumping and all the bull that they probably won't even come out here right. anymore. She goes, every county in Oregon has been out here. Really? Yeah. Wow. What if they really needed help? Huh? What if they really needed help? You right. know? They're, they're, they're screwed. Have you ever heard of the work of stories of Cry Wolf? <laughs> Boy, I know, right? Right? Cry Cry. Okay, so just left Oculus Anubis, and that was kind of weird, <laughs> but we're going back. So as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.